If you were with us back in December 2008, you'll remember our first visit to the Bailey factory. At that time, all the vans were built by what they're now calling their classic construction method, adding the sides and ends after the furniture was installed. The technique for joining the parts to build the box was straightforward. Team members with drills and power drivers screwed them together. The fronts were assembled as wooden framework structures ready to take a GRP cover and a back panel was added to take its own cover. Both front and rear covers were really decorative styling additions rather than integral parts of the vehicle structure. Adding them added to the work involved and to the number of workstations on the line. Compared to the new Bailey Alutex system which has completely changed the body build. The roof too is a very different proposition with Alutec. It was structural, but it was a simple rectangle with joints at the front and back ends as well as the sides. That's all changed too. So we went along to see the changes, but of course we managed to miss a couple of aspects because unknown to our host Simon Howard, production had scheduled a prototype vehicle into the schedule and we couldn't possibly see that. So for the side assembly, we'll rely on some stills. Here's step one. The furniture is all in place and the offside is on. But what's different is the front which no longer has a complex structural framework and the caravan baseboard which has a plastic moulding attached. When the side is added it's fitted to the base using bolts already located in the base fastened to captive nuts in the side rather than drilled and screwed on the spot. Bailey say this gives them a much more accurate assembly vital for the next stage of construction. The bolts are torqued up using a power tool and very precisely located on the plastic mould on the base. The back panel is added in the same way, but as you can see in the photo, the panels are not in contact, but are spaced apart very precisely to accommodate the Alutec extrusion, which is added soon. So we've got the base, both sides and the back in place, bolted together, but with the sides and back precisely spaced. Next, it's time to add the roof and front all in one piece. Back on the laminating line, we saw this one piece panel being built, and you may have noticed some straight cross cuts being made across the whole width of it. These are key cuts when making this panel. On the roof station, the panel is lifted onto the box and located. Then the side supports come off. And you've got a one-piece roof in front, complete with three opening window and gas locker door. It's neat, isn't it? Now the final structural stage. The roof and front panel is locked onto the sides and back with the extrusion which is also used to fasten the sides to the back panel. The extrusion secures the panels together with its bolt and clip fastening system and the bonding agent which seals the extrusion sides to the panels. 
Baileys say that when the box is built like this and the fastening process is complete, their Alutec caravan body is stronger than any conventionally built caravan on the market. You can now see how the cross cuts enable the panel to bend and take up the shape of the front of the body. It's a very simple idea that I'm sure is in use in other industries, but seems to work very well in caravans. Again, the panel is bolted rather than screwed into its final position. The front windows and gas locker door go on, followed by the front section of the extrusion to lock everything together. The back and front segments of the roof and front have a joint partway along the roof line, which is sealed together by a special joining device. This has a water management role as well as simply fixing the two parts. One of the strengths of the Alutec construction method is that the system controls exactly how tightly the parts fit together. This is an interesting demonstration that happens each time a bolt is torqued up. The Pegasus and Olympus backend came in for some criticism when it first appeared, but the assembly process does show how simple the system makes attaching light units and the back bumper. Lots of minor damage happens at the back end, and replacing these items is now the work of a few minutes. A hinge action into the rear extension and a few screws for securing the unit. Easy and much cheaper than replacing a whole back panel. The number plate unit is also a simple screw-on. Again, straightforward, simple and economical to replace in case of damage. So those are the key differences in assembly for your new Alutec Bailey Pegasus or Olympus caravan. Bailey say that moving to this system is a cost-neutral step. Although there's an increase in the cost of the parts, the elimination of two production stages means that the change doesn't cost anything.